Thank you very much, Dinesh. Now we shall move into the meditation section. Practicing meditation leads to breathe less and live longer. This is our disclaimer. As we know that none of us are any of medical background. So if you want to change your lifestyle, please seek a professional consultation. First of all, let us break our current breathing pattern. As we know that when we break the breathing pattern, those spying 175 neurons in the pre C in our brain stem inform our brain's control center that something has been changed. So our brain becomes alert to the new situation and this breaks the flow and then we are ready to either react or respond to the new situation. To break the breathing pattern, take few deep breaths slowly. So when you took a few deep breaths, how did you breathe? Inhale and exhale? It's two steps. In reality, the breathing is a four-step process. Inhale, retain, exhale, and pause. So when you breathe deep, this four-step breathing process happens. In Sanskrit, it is called Purak. Purak means to fill in the air. Then Kumbhak. Kumbhak is retained like kumb or a pot in your belly. Then exhale is Raichak, is to breathe out and then pause in the shunyak or suspension. So these are the four steps of breathing. Normally when we breathe fast and shallow, there are only two steps, inhale and exhale. That's wrong. The survival rules of three. We can survive for three weeks without food, three days without water, and three minutes without air. So nutrition is sorted. Hydration is also sorted because we always eat well. We always keep ourselves hydrated. But what about ventilation? Why should we follow this four-step breathing process? To improve our breathing signature. Every one of us has a breathing signature. It is a number signature. You sign it with some numbers, the number of breaths you take per minute. That is your breathing signature on your every cell. This breathing signature decides your lifespan. The higher the number is, the lower your life expectancy will be. Six, slow respiration at six breaths per minute was found to be optimal for improving alveolar or air sacs of lungs ventilation and reducing dead space in both groups in terms of increased arterial oxygen saturation and ease and sustainability in terms of respiratory effort. Follow-up of patients with chronic heart failure who practice slow breathing displayed increased exercise performance and motivation. The six is optimal according to science. And 
the ancient wisdom of the science of life, the Ayurveda, suggests the breathing signature as 7.5 breaths per minute. It recommends having 10,800 breaths per day. This number 108 is very sacred in, as you know, in Sanatana Dharma or in India. The 27 constellation multiplied by four direction comes to 108. Ayurveda says 7.5 breaths per minute is ideal. The science says six is optimal. So six or seven doesn't matter. Maybe five is also better. But as we breathe less, it changes something in our body. Your brain never orders your respiratory system to start breathing because of the lack of oxygen. Your brain starts the breathing because of the increased level of carbon dioxide in your blood. When the specialized sensory cells in brainstem detect the increased level of carbon dioxide in blood, they inform the brain and it tells diaphragm to initiate breathing. And then carbon dioxide is exhaled. Oxygen flows in with the inhaled air. Then again, carbon dioxide builds up in blood. You breathe out to get rid of carbon dioxide again. When you breathe slow and deep, you automatically will follow the four step breathing. Inhale, retain, exhale, and pause. By breathing slower and deep, your chemoreceptors in the brainstem that sense the level of carbon dioxide, oxygen, and pH level reset themselves to tolerate the higher level of carbon dioxide, which makes you able to tolerate more carbon dioxide. As we breathe slow and deep, our body is set. Hence, you breathe less. Breathe less, live longer. Meditation means focusing on a singular point, slows down your breathing. It means to be in the present, to be in here and in now, and focusing on a singular point. Meditation achieves four-step breathing to live longer, enhances the production of miracle molecule nitric oxide, helps in fatigue, anxiety, depression, and stress. It trains 175 neurons in pre-board C in brainstem to adapt the watch and weight policy. It deactivates two genetic markers, CDH9 and DBX1. It teaches to respond and not to react, controls the release of hormones and focuses on a singular point. So as we meditate, our breathing slows down and hence we breathe less, maybe six breaths, five or 7.5. And that way actually increase our lifespan. If you ask any ancient pandits of India from the scriptures, they would always say that your life is based on your breaths not on minutes or seconds or hours or years. Meditation is not a religious practice. It's all about seizing the moment. It's all about you. It's all about you to be in here and in now. No past impressions, 
no future anxieties, just the present. Because you only live in the present. The past is gone and the future only arrives as the present. We have 1,440 minutes in a day. We only need to spend 10 minutes a day to tune with ourselves. And that can be done anywhere and anytime. So let us now meditate for 10 minutes. As you know what to do, sit or lie in a comfortable position, close your eyes, interlock your fingers, you can focus on any singular point, on the center of your forehead or on any fingertip or on your nostrils. Focusing on your breath would be easier to start with. Focus your mind at your nostrils when you breathe in and breathe out. Do not roll your eyeballs towards nostrils, otherwise it will give you a headache. Keep observing your breath going in and going out, coming out at nostrils. If your mind wanders somewhere, bring it back to your nostrils to observe your thoughts, to observe your breaths. Do not try to breathe deep, breathe naturally. Your breathing will automatically slow down and keep observing your breaths.